Wayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to look at the margins and tabs on IBM Selectric 2. This is a Selectric 2, but the same applies to Selectric 1 or Selectric 3. They all have the same margin arms. And tab works the same way. So let's turn this on. So we got a red indicator here. shows us our carriers right here. Move it across here. And that would be the other margin. All you got to do to move these margins is push them in, slide them. It's as simple as it gets. Move it in, push it in, slide it. If they don't slide freely, your machine needs a little servicing. They should move freely. Um, but they get sticky if the machine's not serviced a lot or recently. Okay, so we got left margin over here. That's where we start the page. You can see the carrier up here. Go back. Go back. Go back. Now this side, the typing should stop. Ring the bell and stop. So let's go over here. Give this a shot. <clears throat> and we're going to type on it. Rings the bell and stops. Perfect. Stops. Now this will, when it comes over here and you're typing, the spacebar will go through the margin. There's no stopping the spacebar. It just goes right on through. Designed that way. No worries. And that's how that works. We put these all the way to the edge. They would carry would slide. Go all the way from one side to the other. Using the tab key here. The tab key set stops along the way. So it's got one stop set right there in the middle. And it just goes to the edge. If we want to clear that one stop, we tap to it, hit the button that says clear right here, push it. Now it's gone, it goes all the way over. Let's go back. Let's go back to the page here, right there. Oops, paper here. So let's say we wanted to uh, put some stops along the way. We hit the set button right here, set button right there, set button right there, return. Now there'll be three stops. You just press the tab to get to them. One, two, three. Return. One, two, three. If you want to clear these all at once, you hold clear down, press return, it's going to clear them all. Now there's none. That's how that works. Now I'm going to show you one other thing here is when this margin doesn't work or doesn't ring the bell, what happens is this piece gets on the other side of the... So right there now it's, it's broken. So if I go to the edge here, it's not going to stop. It's going to keep on going. And it didn't ring the bell or anything. So again... It should have rang the bell right about here. And it should stop right there. But it's still going. The problem is, and it's really easy to resolve, is this margin piece gets out of place. This arm right here is flopping around. It needs to be on the other side of this black bar right here. All you got to do is flick this bar that way past this little hump right here and there it goes it's on the right side now now that bar manipulates the bell margin bar right here inadvertently this will get on the wrong side like that and it won't work see how it's floppy again all you gotta do is take this bar with your finger or fingernail and push it force it that way until it gets on the other side of that little flapper and it's back in business. And that's how you fix that. If your bell continues to not work, let's say uh, it comes over here and stops like it's supposed to. Let's say it, let's say it stops. 
stops. Okay, but the bell doesn't work. The bell doesn't work. I'll show you real quick what's wrong. It's inside the machine. Here's that black bar right there. And of course, that's what we fixed was that gets on the wrong side of that mechanism right there. And so it needs to push that bar. So what we did was push it like that and get it on the right side. The bell is over here. Here's our ringer right there. Get a little more light down here. So this black bar comes across here and it triggers this little arm that triggers this little rocker. Right like that. So either that little spring right there is out of place or this piece is stuck. It's gooey and stuck and it won't it won't move. So that's that's how you get the dinger to work on a selector. And that's what you look for if it's not working. Alright. Phoenix Sapphire, have a good day.